Following in the footsteps of her predecessors, who were women, among them Dr. Nkwasazana Lamini Zuma, Maite Nkwana Mashabani, and Lindiwe Sisulu. It was a surprise. Uh, you know, education, science are my home turf. And so when President talked about the departments and the changes uh, of reconfiguration, I thought, mm, higher education, science and technology, you know. And then he told me um, what he was uh, deploying me to. And, uh, well, I said I'm very, very honored. Um, I'll have to learn uh, a diplomacy. It's not my strength. Uh, but um, very honored, very privileged. And now she will be crisscrossing the world as a senior diplomat with the aim of strengthening relationships with the world. South Africa holds a, a very, very important uh, place in the world given our history and the interest of the world in the progress of South Africa. And at the moment, of course, we are uh, occupying a non-permanent seat uh, in the UNSC. Uh, beyond that as well, the President and South Africa will become chair of the African Union. So there are very important roles uh, that the government and our people are going to play. Uh, on the uh, both African as well as the global uh, stage. And I think in that space we must always maintain who we are, we are hold up uh, the interests of Africa, uh, and certainly uh, the matter of human rights and uh, who South Africa's values are reflected as uh, in the Bill of Rights of the Constitution of South Africa. Another department that always complement international relations is the Department of Defense. South Africa plays a prominent role in peacekeeping missions on the continent. On Wednesday, 26 rebels were killed in the DRC after they attacked a military base of the peacekeepers. We can't scale down when the conflict is escalating. I'm sure you may be aware that something happened in the Eastern DRC last night. I've just received the news. And, uh, and therefore what that means is that countries should actually prepare themselves uh, to fight very hard against those who are bent on plundering resources and in the process of doing that, murder civilians. And that is what is happening, as you know, in the Democratic Republic of Congo. But this will not deter South Africa in its quest to contribute towards a peaceful continent. I think we have done very well in trying to advocate for peace in conflict resolution. I think we've also done very well in peacekeeping. And um, I would also imagine that perhaps for continuity in the department, we are currently busy with a succession plan and probably the president in his wisdom decided that therefore it's important that you have somebody who has been there just to take things forward. The two ministers will be working together in the peace and security cluster. Sophie Mugwen, SABC News, Pretoria.